Good morning. listening to the Harper family this morning. Kind of got you set up. The next song is called Count Your Blessings. Uh, we'll listen to just a little bit of that this morning uh, to get us going. So we're going to fast forward, get us there. Uh, this song is called Count Your Blessings. This young lady can sing, I'm telling you. Not our bruises. Good morning, everybody. We're just letting everybody get stirred around and get on get online. Amen. count our blessings amen it's what we need to do i'm talking about good to see everybody this morning we're glad that you're here glad that you've chosen to spend a few minutes with us this morning i pray that your day is starting out well i'm looking forward to a good day in the lord and what it's going to do. we had a good night last night enjoyed services uh, enjoyed the fellowship just enjoyed being together with god's people uh we had a good time had a good visit uh appreciate miss aaron Miles, our daughter-in-law, uh, for putting together that uh, uh, lesson last night for our young people. Uh, she introduced us to Oscar. Uh, Miss Erin has done some ventriloquism uh, for years, and uh, so she brought Oscar uh, online last night, and she had sent me a video uh, about that. So we enjoyed Oscar last night, and uh, hopefully we'll see Oscar again uh, in the near future. So we're th we're thankful for. For, for them sharing with us last night. Uh, again, I thought we had a good service last night. We had a good time uh, in the Lord, a good time of prayer uh, over our prayer list. We'll talk about some of those this morning. Uh, we, we enjoyed a good time of Bible study together. We're still uh, in Psalm 119. I talked last night about, about doing uh, uh, each summer, probably doing a, some type of summer in the Psalms. Uh, we'll do them different every year, but we'll probably do that uh, each year, I, that's a neat thing. I, I, I've, I don't know where I read that. I read that somewhere. Uh, but I thought that was a neat thing to do, just kind of give a little focus uh, during during the summer. So we'll probably do some of that uh, each year. But we enjoyed that last night. And again, I just want to say a special thank you to, to Miss Aaron and Oscar for being with us last night. All right, prayer requests. Let's do remember uh, uh, these. I just saw Brother Adam uh, pop on there. Good morning, sir. Uh, pray for Mr. Brody. Uh, he'll be having another appointment today, so we want to remember him uh, in our prayers. Little Trooper, uh, glad that he's uh, doing well. Uh, all right, Miss Kay will be traveling. I'm just looking at, at some of the uh, comments there, Miss Kay. Uh, Y'all be careful while you travel. Uh, going to Illinois, coming back with Bella. Uh, all right, y'all be careful as you travel. Uh, do remember to pray for Mr. Brody today as he goes in for his test uh, for for his appointment. 
Um, just pray that they'll continue to find what they need to find. Uh, they might be able to get him on a, um, uh, a track to where he'll be, uh, be getting some better. So we're thankful for that. And uh, the Lord's going to do there. Uh, let's do remember Brother Larry, of course, with his knee. Continue to pray for him. It was two weeks yesterday. If I remember correctly from the, the knee surgeries that I've witnessed uh, since I've been here, uh, about the first four weeks are, 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 the, are the difficult times. So he's got a couple left. So you pray for him. I know he'd appreciate that. Pray for Brother Marvin Graham. He's going back to the doctor today. He's going to go have another COVID-19 test. I think he's had 15. <laughs> I think it's been four. Uh, but he's going to go have another one today. And uh, in preparation for uh, the heart test or heart calf Monday, so you pray for him. He'll have to have the test today. Then he's got to quarantine himself uh, until Monday. Uh, so you pray for him. I know he'd appreciate that. Pray for Miss Lisa while she helps him. Uh, pray for Miss Rose Ramage. Uh, she's really having some trouble with her lungs. Uh, so you pray for her. She said her sugar, the, the shots are working. Uh, they're just trying to get them adjusted. So you pray for her. Pray for little Owen. Uh, he'll be having uh, uh, some, some procedures today. Uh, I, I know... Uh, that'd be a blessing to them if you would pray uh, that God would have His hand on on that family and on Owen. Uh, just just pray for God's blessing there. Pray for Miss Katie. She she talked to the doctor yesterday. She's got a a uh, video appointment Monday. Just trying to find some answers for this allergy stuff that she's going through. If you pray for her, uh, I know they'd appreciate that. And then yesterday, Brother Adam asked that we remember a family friend of theirs, uh, Mr. Doug Dahl. Pray for him. Uh, he's been sent home on hospice. Uh, so you pray for him and the family. I know they would appreciate our prayers there. So a lot of things going on, a lot of prayer requests we need to remember. Uh, we just want to uplift all of these and continue. I know I probably probably forgot some. Now I saw Miss Brenda on this morning. Brother Jim was not feeling well yesterday. Uh, Miss Brenda, is he doing any better this morning? His blood pressure was dropping, so you pray for him. Uh, I know he'd appreciate uh, all of the prayers that he could get. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Looking forward to a, a great week this week. Uh, I know God is working. God's moving. Uh, we're, we're looking forward to uh, the Lord just blessing. Uh, continue, hey, continue with our uh, our American flags. We want to continue to put that out there uh, on Facebook and, and on the Internet. Just let folks know that we still love our country. Uh, we're still excited about that. Thinking the flag made me think about this joke. Let me tell you, you want, you want a couple of jokes this morning? I'll give you. I'll give you one. Uh, there's this 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 young soldier, just got out of basic, just got out of boot camp. He's uh, just fresh. I mean, green. And he's a, a, been been assigned guard duty at the base, and he's been given very strict instructions about what he can do, what he can't do, who can allow in, who he can't. They told him. They said, "Now look." If, if they don't have this sticker on their car, they cannot get in uh, to this base. Now, you make sure. That's your job. Yes, sir, got it. Uh, so, well, he's wanting to impress people. You know, he's wanting to show them he's got things under control. Uh, so, he, he's, sure enough, his car pulls up, no sticker. Ball halt, who goes there? Uh, you know, no sticker, you can't come in. Well, happens to be a general in the car. And the general tells his driver, he says, driver, drive on. Wow, that young man, said, you know, he's been given strict instructions. He runs out there and gets in front of that car. No, sir, no, sir, you cannot go. That general says, driver, drive home. Sir, if you, if you cross, if you go through this gate, I'll have to shoot you. The conversation ensues and finally the, little, the, the, the new soldier, he kind of makes his way to the back of the car and he leans over and speak into the, to the general. And he said, now, General, I'm new at this. He said, I, this is my first time being on gate guard. He said, I just need to ask you a question. He said, if y'all drive through this gate, do I shoot you or do I shoot the driver? <laughs> I, I thought that was cute. Amen. I'll give you one more about a driver, a state trooper. Uh, let, well, let, let's go this way. Uh, the Pope was, was, was traveling. and he's go, He got, got picked up at the airport in a limousine. He's going to, a certain, going to, to, to the hotel. And, and they're out country road, kind of out in the middle of nowhere, and he and the driver get to talking. And so the Pope tells the driver, he said, sir, he said, uh, pull over here for a second. So sure enough, driver pulls over. And, and, and the Pope says, uh, son, he said, you know, he said, I, everywhere I go, people always drive me around. I got to sit in the back of these cars everywhere I go. I never get to drive. 
He said, there ain't nobody out here. It's just me and you. He said, won't you let me drive? I uh, mean, I, I haven't driven in so long. Just, just from here to the hotel. That's all I wanted. Oh, I can't let you do that. Finally, he talks, talks him into letting him drive. So he gets up in the front seat. Uh, the chauffeur gets in the back seat. So he gets out, boy, and he's enjoying himself. I mean, he gets to enjoy himself a little bit too much, and all of a sudden there's blue lights behind him. He pulls over the car, uh, and, and the state trooper gets out, and he walks up to the car. He knocks on the window, uh, and, and the window rolls down, and there sits the Pope. The state trooper doesn't say a word. He just starts backing up, gets on his radio, calls in. He says, Sarge, he said, I, I got a problem. I don't know what to do. He said, son, what do you mean? Tell him the story about pulling the car over. He said, well, if he's speeding, give him a ticket. He said, sir, I don't, I, I, I don't know what to do. He said, well, why not? He said, well, sir, he's got, I don't know who this is. He said, but he's got the Pope driving for him. <laughs> anyway. All right, there's your two jokes this morning. Oh, good to see everybody. I think I saw my, my sister run through there a second ago. Barb, good to see you. Uh, Miss Brenda said that, yeah, his blood pressure stayed steady, so we're thankful for that. Uh, we're glad to see uh, that working out well uh, also. All right, we're going to go ahead and have our proverb for the day. We've got to get spiritual. I guarantee you after those two jokes, we need something spiritual. Uh, so get your Bible out. We'll be in Proverbs chapter number two. Proverbs chapter number two. We'll be reading this morning uh, from there. So if you get your Bible out, get your morning beverage, feed up on the, on the uh, 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 in your recliner or there on the footstool, And we'll read Proverbs chapter number two. Here we go. Ready? My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding, yea, if thou criest after knowledge and liftest up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity. Yea, every good path. When wisdom entereth into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee, to deliver thee from the evil way, from, from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh froward things, who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice to do evil and delight in the frowardness of the wicked whose ways are crooked, and they froward in their paths, to deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger which flattereth with her words, which forsake the guide of her youth, and forgetteth the covenant of her God. For her house inclineth unto death, and her paths unto the dead. None that go unto her return again, neither take they hold of the paths of life that thou mayest walk in the way of good men and keep the paths of the righteous. For the upright shall dwell in the land, the perfect shall remain in it. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth, and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. Those last two verses. For the upright shall dwell in the land, and the perfect shall remain in it. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth, and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. If you have a verse that spoke to you this morning, you'd like to throw it in the comments, uh, we'll read that. Uh, but as we get ready to uh, get about our day, uh, we'll pray, uh, and then we will. I'll send you out with a little bit more of the, the Harper family. I, I wish this family was still singing together, but you know how it is. Uh, as families grow, uh, children get married and, and do their own thing and go their own way. Uh, so the Harper family's not singing together anymore, uh, but uh, but, uh, but we can still listen to them. We still have the recordings, uh, so we can still listen to them. All right, I don't see any comments there uh, about verses, so we're going to pray, uh, and then I'll send you out with a little bit more of the Harper family. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we're thankful. 
for another day you've given us. Thank you for all that you've done for us already this morning. Father, I pray that you'll just continue to lead, guide, and direct us, help us to be used for your honor and your glory. Be with our prayer request. I pray that you'll be with Brody this morning. You'll have your hand on him. Uh, Father, give the family rest and grace. Uh, I pray that you'll be with uh, 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 Owen Matthews today, that you just continue to be with him and his family, uh, the Dahl family that, that Brother uh, Adam mentioned. pray that you'll be with Brother Larry and, and Brother uh, Marvin and uh, Brother Jim and uh, Miss Rose, all the ones that we've mentioned today, that you'd continue to have your hand on them. Father, I pray that you'll give us a great day today, that you'll help us be drawn closer to you. Give us the wisdom that we need to be used for your honor and your glory. Help us to do all things today that would be pleasing unto you, that would uplift your name, for your grace to be shown to others. Father, we're thankful for your goodness to us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we thank you for being with us today. Here you go. I'll send you out with a little bit of... Uh, a little bit more of the Harpers. Hey man, you catered him lately? God bless you. Have a great day. <laughs>